Hi! Welcome to Donsky Tech. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can run your Tony IDE with multiple instances or windows. Currently, if you open your Tony IDE and you try to open another window by typing the Tony IDE here, then you would notice that there's only one instance of your Tony IDE. The reason why is that the by default, the Tony IDE is configured to only run one instance. So, if you want to run multiple instances, then you need to configure your Tony IDE for that. So, the question is, why do I need to run multiple instances of my Tony IDE? The reason is because I'm working on an ESP32 MicroPython project that uses ESP now, and I need the two of my ESP32 to communicate with each other. So, that's why I need to have uh, two instances of my Tony IDE running uh, together. So, what can you do to have two instances of your Tony IDE? All you have to do is just go to the tools and then in the options, there is there is the default here called allow single only instance and then just uncheck that option and then click OK. And it's important that you close your, brow your Tony IDE and now open your Tony IDE So, this is the first instance of my Tony IDE. Now, let's try opening another instance of my Tony IDE. And as you can see, right now, I have two instances of my Tony IDE. So, let's try to put it side by side. And as you can see, there, I have now two instances of my Tony IDE. One is connected to the COM12. And then, let's try connecting this one to the other. And as you can see, I now was able to connect to my two ESP32. So that's actually how easy it is to configure your Tony IDE to run multiple windows or multiple instances. Until then, up exploring.